Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy Ray of Amy Ray Plans. Today I'm here to film a plan with me for the week of May 4th through May 10th. It is the week of Mother's Day. So I didn't have a Mother's Day kit for this week. So I decided to use the Cyber Monday Mystery from 2019 from Scroll Prince Co. Um, Cause I thought it was very, it has like a lot of florals in it. And I just thought it was very pretty for spring and for the week of Mother's Day. So this is the old kit freebie, the label sampler, the glitter header sampler. Then you have your full boxes. I will be using this one as well. I like to, I like to pull two into my sidebar. You have the payday, the checklist squares, your large circle icons, your large boxes. These, this is an older format as well. You have your book labels, your small and large appointment labels, your bill dues, quarter boxes, and half boxes. You have your really cute deco, your movie marquee, your page flags, your weekend banner, your work labels, your bow, your bow paper clip, your boxes, your LOL canceled rescheduled note labels. You have your solid fancy appointment labels, your solid color washi, and your little things. You have your fancy patterned labels. You have your patterned washi and your headers. You have your two habit trackers, your heart checklist, your page lags, two appointment labels, your small circle icons, your two to-do lists, and your two weekly checklists or weekly trackers. And then you have your full box heart checklist. It also came with the 15 millimeter strip, which I won't be using, but I'll pull that into my leftovers. And then it also came with the bottom washi and the extra full box, but I pulled in this marbled bow washi that I think actually came with this mystery. And um, a 30 piece um, foil bundle came with this mystery and it was all in rose gold and I'm actually pulling rose gold into the spread. And I also used the Simply Gilded rose gold with the white bow there. I did put up a question box on Instagram and I actually got a couple of questions. Sometimes I put it up and I don't get any questions, um, but I did. I got a bunch of questions actually this time, so I'll definitely be going through those as we plan. So let me get the full boxes out because that's what we're gonna start with. And this video probably will be a little bit longer because when I put foil down, I feel like it takes me forever. <laughs> All right, we'll do the full boxes on the sidebar first. So for that, the top box, I'm gonna use the girl on her bike with the basket of flowers hanging off the back. Let me grab my Erin Condren ruler. And then we're gonna use this box on the bottom of the sidebar. I hope that's straight. Um, okay, so actually I'm gonna start getting into the questions. So the first one um, is from my friend Ariana. She says, how do you stay positive during such rough times? Why would, why did I take all the sticky notes off? Um, uh, I deal with a lot of health issues, so I'm not sure if she means that or like everything going on in the world right now. But um, I just try to do the things I love, like planning, watching planning videos, reading, watching TV shows or movies that I love, spending time with my, my mom and... Um, with my cats and just focusing trying to focusing trying to focus sorry on joy and not so much the difficult circumstances that are going on with me physically and in the world in general right now and then the next question I got, what are you doing to relax during quarantine? I kind of went into this already. I am um, watching a lot of YouTube, still filming videos. Um, I'm also binge watching Chicago PD from the beginning. Um, there's six seasons. The seventh season recently wrapped on air. Ooh. Um, and... 
I am currently on like episode four or five of season five. Um, and then the next question was my favorite TV show. That is um, Chicago PD. I also like a lot of shows that aren't currently on the air anymore. Like um, my all-time favorite shows are Beverly Hills 90210. Um, Dawson's Creek, One Tree Hill, Rookie Blue, Third Watch, Seventh Heaven, um, the reboot of 90210. I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered. Oh, and Full House. Um, another one is what kind of books do you like reading? I personally like a lot of chick chick lit type books um i also still like reading young adult fiction um i like fiction i don't like a ton of non-fiction but i do like some like i like some autobiographies and books like based on sports and stuff like that and i'm getting distracted glitter headers um i also like some mysteries i don't like anything that's too graphic or horror themed but I do like some mystery one of my all-time favorite actually my favorite mystery series is um the Amish mystery series the Kate Burkholder series by Linda Castillo I think there's like nine books and the 10th book is coming out this summer and I just really love that series a lot and I highly recommend it it's not too graphic I mean so, some parts are but it's not like not like horror movie content or anything like that and then another question is what is the first thing you are going to do when you are no longer quarantined um I want to go out with my best friend um it was her birthday yesterday and I did surprise her with some things at her house that she wasn't expecting I didn't go inside I set them on her porch and then rang the doorbell and talked to her for a few minutes from the car but um I we always go out for each other's birthdays and we go like to some stores and we go out to lunch and um just go out with her and have her birthday celebration a little bit late and also I can't wait to go to like Target and just walk around not that walking around is easy for me right now but if I go slow it's okay and um also being able to go to the grocery store without being paranoid that I'm gonna get sick um what's next or this like coral color and then the next question is how's your quarantine going um it's going good um I the only thing I miss is like like I just said go being able to go to the grocery store without fear that I'm gonna get sick or, or that my family is gonna get sick and also, um, the only other thing was because of the virus and the quarantine, my two family trips that were scheduled for April weren't able to happen. So that was a bummer since we'd all been looking forward to that for a while. But I know it's better safe than sorry. It's just hard because I miss my family so much. Um, the majority of my family and I, we live in different states. So that's why we were really looking forward to their visits and then um the second part of that question was what are you most excited to do when it's all over so I already answered that one so thank you guys for all the questions um I think I'll put up a question box again next week for my next plan with me I'm currently filming this on Thursday April 30th I just felt like in a mood to plan, in a mood to play with stickers and just plan. Okay, we have the blue, and we have coral. Actually, I'm gonna move that over a pinch. Um, so this week was the week the Life Planner 
for 2020-2021 or if you're in non-academic, just 2021 launched and that is really exciting. I ordered mine on NC Insider's launch day. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but my mom and dad, um, they're divorced, but they um, let me, like, they both went in and helped me be able to buy it. So I got the, I wasn't able to get everything that I wanted. So much good stuff, by the way. But I was able to get the life planner, the colorful layers. I got the colorful layers vertical and with the platinum coil. I always get the platinum coil. And... Then I got the Colorful Layers sticker book and the new metallic mid-century circles cover, which I'm really excited about, all that. So I guess right now, um, oh, what I wanted to say was thank you again for all of the questions. So right now I'll just share the foil that I have picked out to use. I have um, some of these decorative um, bows, stars, and circles. I have the um, circle icons, the glitter, or no, the date dots, which I'm not using because I tried to do something without the date covers and I messed it up, so I had to use different date dots. Then I have the glitter header overlays, the full box overlays, and then the kiss cut icons, the bow, the page flags, the weekend banner, the emojis, and then some more decorative um, stuff down there. So I'm going to put the decorative pages together. Right? Actually, I'll just leave it all there. But um, I'll go in with the full boxes. So everything's going to get an overlay except this box down here, which might look weird to some, but I only have eight. So I am not the best at doing foils, so I tend to go quiet when I am laying it down. So I'm going to apologize for that in advance. I don't have a, lot, a ton of foil. The foil I do have the most of is silver. Um, I have some hollow and sparkly hollow. I don't have a ton of gold or a ton of rose gold. Well, I have a little bit of rose gold because of the 30-piece foil bundle that I was talking about previously that came with this Cyber Monday. But besides that, I don't have... ...much of a foil collection. I have a lot of wiggles, though, too. And then we have these two. And then I'm going to go in with the glitter header overlays. And then we'll do the sidebar before we get into the pre-planning. Okay. So for the sidebar, I'm going to take my... I'm just going through pages over here. We're going to take the This Week header. I'm going to grab my ruler again. And then I'm going to go with the Blue Weekly Tracker. That's a little bit crooked, but we won't worry about it. And then we're going to go in with some deco. I'm going to get my tweezers. Um, let's see. Um, we can, we can put this over here. And I do apologize if you hear background noise. I'm going to put the bike down because even though the bike is on the full box, you don't get to see a lot of it from the front because it's front, you, you see more of the back. We're going to put a rose. We're going to put the 
snack bars. We're going to put an ice cream right there. We'll do the sunglasses. We'll do another rose. And then we're going to put some little deco around it. Oh, and I actually want to pop in some of these pieces. I actually want to put a bow on this full box right here, like that. And then I want to disperse some of these foil items. Actually, I usually put this stuff down off camera because it takes me forever to do. But I'll just do a little bit. We'll put it like that. And then we'll do like another star or two. Okay, I think we're good there. And now we will go in with the glitter header overlays. I, I actually meant to do the sidebar after I did the glitter header overlays, but it doesn't matter. All right, so this is the part where I tend to go quiet more often because I'm like always afraid that I'm gonna lay the foil down crooked. And you really, oh, well at least that fell with the foil side. Actually, I'm gonna move this pile of stickers in front of me from the kit over just while I do the foil. I really think this is a pretty kit for Mother's Day without being like a Mother's Day specific kit, without having a Mother's Day specific kit with all the florals and the colors and how springy it feels. And, um, not much has been going on this week. Like I said, yesterday was my best friend's birthday. So it was actually a pretty funny story. So I've been like asking her questions like throughout the past couple weeks. And my mom, and like I asked for um, like very like specific questions. So and my mom was like, she's going to know you're doing something for her. And when we went yesterday, she's like, no, I thought maybe you were going to like send me something, but I didn't know you were going to do this. So I was like, see, mom, I am a good detective. It's all the Chicago PD I watch. And it was really funny. I felt bad that we couldn't do our annual birthday outing. But of course, when everything is over and back to normal, we will do that. So if you're watching this, bestie, happy birthday. Um, I actually used a birthday kit this week in her honor. And if you're watching this with your son, Ben, who is my little buddy. Hi, Ben. He loves when I give him little shout outs. So he's so cute. We met because we used to work together at the same place. And then her son was also in my class. I kind of actually, because I started off at my first daycare job as a floater, 
and her son was in the in the um, toddler room then, and I was in the toddler room a lot then as a floater. I was mainly in the toddler and the three-year-old room, but I went wherever they needed me, like if one room was short-staffed that day or whatever. Um, but I, I was in the toddler room a lot when he was in there. And then when he moved up to the young twos, I was an assistant teacher in that room. And then when he moved up to the older twos, I became an assistant teacher in that room and then eventually lead teacher. So. so we have quite the bond, me and him, and that's how um, I got to know my best friend and how she came into my life. And I'm so grateful and blessed that God brought her into my life because she is the best, and I love her so much. I am... Sometimes I'll do the um, letter header overlays, and I'll be like, oh, you did a really good job getting those down straight. And then I'll go look, like, closer, like, when I'm off camera, and I'll notice, no, you didn't, you... You got a, ooh, I got a bubble in there. Ah. See, I just jinxed myself. Oh, well. Okay. I had a really good dream last night. It was about the celebrity I, crush I have on the guy on Chicago PD, and he was in it. And I didn't even watch any Chicago PD yesterday. I watched a couple of shows yesterday. But there are shows that are current. Actually, no. What did I watch yesterday? I watched Survivor. And then I watched Little People Big World, which was recorded on Tuesday. And then I also watched Law & Order SVU from last week. Alright, so glitter headers are done. I'm going to put the cap back on my tweezers and move this stack of stickers back. But before I move it back, we're going to organize it a little bit. I don't know, when I do my Plain With Me's, I like to have my stickers in a certain order. Oh, I didn't do the deco on top. Silly me. Um, I am just going to do something real quick. Sorry guys, I just had to turn the air on in my room because it was getting quite hot. Alright, so we have this. Let's do the deco across the top. Um, Alright, let me get this situated. Okay. Oh, so I need the tweezers again. Let me just rearrange my hair. Sorry. I just got really hot all of a sudden. Okay. So. I'm going to have a croissant right there. I'm going to put one of the little macro. Actually, we'll spread that out. Put that there. We'll do. Sunglasses. Um, oh, I'll do another macaroon. A lot of the deco is like double or tripled up, so just trying to put the hats on this side so we won't do that. Um, we'll do this ice cream.
Like I said, I'll probably add some more of the this stuff off camera because I don't want to take an hour filming this video because of all that. Alright, so we'll do an ice cream here. We'll do the purse right there. Oh, I have three coffees, but I guess we'll just do two. We'll do that one and we'll do the pink one on this side. Um, we will do the sunglasses, we'll do one on this side, let me put a star right there, actually I'm going to put the star right there, um, I know we're in half hour into this video almost and I haven't even started pre-planning. Uh, after I put this star down, I'll put the rest of this um, foil deco down off camera so I don't take up any more time. We'll do those glasses. We will do the hat right here. We will do the pink ice cream right there. Um, a loaf of bread and I'll probably go in and put some more like oh, I want to put a heart in not a heart, a flower oh I kind of want to add the flower to the hat, I like that okay and I might go add some more off camera but we don't have that much left okay so now that we have that let me put this sticker sheet back in. Put the cap on the tweezers. And then let me pull out my... Oh, sorry for bumping you guys. Let me pull out my meal labels. I was about to put it down upside down. Of that would have been very silly. Do you guys like longer plan with me or do you like shorter ones? Which do you prefer? I personally usually prefer longer ones. I don't know, I just enjoy longer ones. Lately, I've trying. I've been trying not to watch haul videos unless it's like one of my favorite YouTubers or I have a, like, like you know, like one of my top favorites because I can't really be shopping right now. Not can't really. I can't be shopping right now, um, and watching hauls like kind of triggers me to want to shop or have the itch to shop. So I kind of avoid them if I can for the most part all right so on Monday I know this sticker doesn't match the kit whatsoever but it's so cute and I'm not even a Star Wars fan but I just think it's adorable it's from Chrissy Ann Designs and I'm just gonna use I was gonna do a pattern piece of washi but I won't because the colors don't go so I think we'll do a solid piece of washi but instead of putting it up at the top I think I'm going to put it down towards the bottom and we're going to actually use two pieces and put them together. Sorry for that noise. That was the door closing and the garage opening. What happened to the sticker? Where'd the sticker go that I had in my hand? Uh, did I tape the sticker down. No, it's not there. Where did it go? Okay, well, 
if I can't find it, I'll... I'm like, where is it? It's not on my hands. It's not under my sticker sheet. That's really weird. All of a sudden, it, like, disappeared. Um, okay. So, scratch that. I'm not putting in that sticker, so we'll peel up. That was so weird. So now I just wasted two pieces of washi. Watch, it's probably like on my phone or something. That's weird, okay. Um, so scratch that for Monday. Tuesday, it is my cat's seventh birthday, my cat Pumpkin. So we're going to put that in with a large circle icon. I thought I pulled a sticker out for this, but I guess I didn't. But I'm going to pull in the paw print. And I was gonna put it in a half box, but I don't like how the like this icon from the kit looks in a half box. So we're going to put it on an appointment label. And I almost just put went to put this down on Monday. Alright. So I'm going in with my here's the sticker. Oh, it got stuck to something but I actually think I'm just gonna put this in my monthly since it does not match the colors at all in my weekly kit and it does match the colors in my monthly okay it was by my tweezer which was weird because I wasn't using my tweezers when I had that sticker out there's a ghost just kidding um all right so what was I doing I was going to grab oh my Ultra Fine Sharpie Permanent Marker, which I love to use on my glossy stickers. That's terrible handwriting. But. And then on Tuesday it is also Teacher Appreciation Day and Cinco de Mayo. So for that, we're going to put Cinco de Mayo down here and I have this sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Cinco de Mayo and then for Teacher Appreciation Day I have this sticker from Coffee Monsters Co. as well and we're going to put this in a half box and we're going to put it above here so wait a second, because I want to put a little piece of patterned washi between that, and we'll use this dark colored one. And that will, or is not crooked, or is crooked. Okay, so we have that, and then we're just going to put that in there. I like that this chalkboard says, be kind. Wednesday, it is Nurses Day. So I have this sticker from Chrissy Ann Designs that we are going to put on, I guess I'll use another quarter box and we'll put that down here. I forgot to mark my um, video though. So for that, I am going to put this film slate icon from the kit and I'm gonna use the flag label. And I'm gonna put that up there and then we'll use some patterned washi. Um, I was gonna put the dark, but I don't have a small dark. Yeah, I can use this one. Use this one right there. 
And then we have that. I'm not writing what video it is because I'm not sure what video is going to go up that day. And that's the first half. Now on to the second half. I have nothing to mark on Thursday, Friday. It is Julie of Julie's Plans birthday. Um, I highly recommend you follow her both on Instagram and YouTube. So that's going to go in a half box. Right? Yeah. And I have this happy birthday script in rose gold from Julie, uh, not from, from Scribble Prince Co. And I'm just going to write Julie in there. And then also on Friday, I have my medical, um, my monthly medical infusion. And I think for that, we'll put it on this right there. And again, we will use a patterned piece of washi. I really like this kit. At first, when I got it, I was like, it's not my favorite, but I really do like it. It's grown on me. And then the sticker I have pulled out for that is this adorable um, emoji with the syringe. So for that, I'm going to put that there. And this is at 9.30. And then Saturday... This is funny, but I'm going to mark one of my celeb crushes' birthdays. And again, I'm going to be using a rose gold happy birthday script just in a different font from Scribble Prince Co. And I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to knock into you guys. Um... Okay, hold on. I actually think I need to use this box. This big box instead of the... should come up relatively easy since I just put it down. Okay, let me put that down where it goes. Actually, I think I lost that box. Sorry. It was really crinkled, so. And then I'm just going to write his name. He's like my second biggest crush. And then my first is the guy from uh, Chicago PD. And then on Monday, Monday, Sunday, it is Mother's Day. And I'm going to use this box. Oh, no, not it. Not that box because it's the same color. I'm actually think I'm gonna take one of these decorative ones. I think we'll do the one with the flower. Flowers, not flower. And then this text is quite large, so I'm gonna do some layering. This sticker right here is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And the script sticker is from Chrissy Ann Designs. So that is how the week or of pre-planning has turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video, and I hope you all are staying safe. Bye, everyone.